do all day. It's the land of dreaming sea. There's a God that That's what I mean. So Harry and Bramford and their agent, Anne Marie Wilkins, reached out to me in October of 2006, just six, eight weeks after the failure of the levees, and said, what can we do to get our musicians back? You know, we want them back. We want their homes to be affordable because with all the devastation, rents on whatever was available were skyrocketing. Um, I, I, it was young. I mean, I never thought I'd own a home by 27. Or, and, um, and as soon as I moved in here, I was able to relax enough to um, not worry about where the next rent check was going to come from and, uh, and not worrying about where I was going to live in six months or a year and constantly sort of focusing on that. And I immediately made an album. I was so happy and proud and I just started recording and I've been making an album once a year ever since. I just like celebrating my musical life. It just kind of helped me get my stuff together, you know. <laughs> I...